G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, I've climbed to the top of this mountain to bring you guys three reasons why you guys shouldn't stack stones when you're out in wilderness areas. Stick around. They're pretty dangerous. Hey, we're all Wicked Wildlife. We So the first thing is stacking stones in wilderness areas and along trails and things is just plain irresponsible. Uh, if you've spent any great deal of time in the bush, you'll know that in places all over the world, park rangers and game wardens for a long, long time have st stacked stones along main paths to stop people getting lost. Now, a lot of the time, people meaning well, I suppose, they stack them just off to the side of the path to not intrude anybody else's way. And what they could actually be doing without realising is misleading somebody away from the track, resulting in somebody getting lost in the bush. Now, if somebody gets lost out in the middle of nowhere and, uh, you know, spends some time in there or loses their life, uh, are you willing to take responsibility for that just because you wanted to pile up a heap of rocks? It's just not a good idea. So Reason number two is it's pretty inconsiderate. All over the world, people go to these wilderness areas to get away from civilization, uh, have a break from humanity and, and get in touch with nature. Now, the last thing they'd want to do is go to a national park and see somebody spray painted their name on the cliff face, and this is no different. Uh, you don't need to go and leave your mark in, in wilderness areas. Whenever we go out into an area, uh, the two golden rules is to take nothing but photographs and leave nothing but footprints, and this is certainly a, a breaking of that rule. So there's number two. So number three is, of course, it's bad for the environment. A lot of our native reptiles here in Australia and all around the world are what we call saxicolous, which means they live on underneath or amongst rocks. Now, species like this guy here, the Cunningham skink who's endangered in South Australia, the broad-headed snake who up in New South Wales is endangered, and the Karangamite water skink here in Southwest Victoria who's critically endangered, are all saxicolous, meaning they depend on this rock to provide homes and habitat. Unfortunately, the rocks that people generally use are these nice flat things, they're easy to stack up, and that's the exact kind of rock that a lot of these species need to survive. The other place that people unfortunately like to make these little rock stacks is along waterways where you get those nice round smooth stones and often they're really popular camping sites. Unfortunately these stones in the river that you're taking out, they provide little micro habitats in the current, little eddies where there's sort of a soft spot in the water which provide places for fish and yabbies and all sorts of microorganisms to breed which are really important to the ecosystem. So whether it's on the top of a mountain or down in a river, these rock stacks are destroying homes. Now more often than not, people who do this kind of thing, they don't actually mean harm. They're not thinking about it. They're just coming out into the bush and they're basically doing what everybody else does. And it's easy to say that I'm just one person, so me stacking them up, what difference is it gonna make? But here in the Grampians, there's over two million visitors annually. If each one of those people stacks up one little pile of rocks, or even one rock, that's potentially two million homes for things like this guy disappearing. It's no different to you waking up in the middle of the night and somebody's ripping the roof off your house. So please guys, if you do see these in the, out in the bush, uh, use a bit of common sense. If there's one by itself and it's on a trail or at a corner, it's probably put there by a park ranger or something like that. But if you go to a campsite and there's hundreds and hundreds of these things, feel free to push them over. Turn that one house back into 20 homes like it should be. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. As always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, leave us a comment, all that sort of thing. Get out in the bush and enjoy nature, but if you do, Remember, take nothing but photographs, leave nothing but footprints, and build nothing but memories. Have a good one and take care.